to make my acquaintance, this is Marv Cusbedalion, arising from Amazon Wave ATB of Product Life Support. Under the care of Shai Saloper and Alexander Pascual, today I will set forth the new generation of wristwatch and that will be the smartwatch. Together with its features, product details, how to set it up, its common issues, troubleshooting, and as well as what's inside the box. And now without further ado, let us all proceed. Aside from the package, let's see what's in the box. So as you can see, the box is very simple when it comes to design. There's the branding in the middle portion of the front as well as the smartwatch and it is very neat because of the white color of the box. Once we have opened the box, we can already see the smartwatch itself. We can just pop the watch outside the box like this. And there you go, the watch is out. It has a nice screen protector in it already, the texture of the sleeve is very smooth, and few different sensors at the back. Now let's see what's underneath the watch. There you will be able to see the charging cable that comes in black and sealed properly in a nice little plastic bag. Some manual that describes its functionality and other features. Some paperwork, a quick start guide manual for beginners, and lastly, a free one year guarantee letter. The features of this smartwatch includes 14 different sports modes, customizable watch face, 5 ATM water resistance, alarm clock, music control, 5 to 7 days of battery life, breath training, GPS connectivity, timer, and smart notifications. Hey YouTubers, Ron here. We're gonna go over some GPS issues customers have been having. Uh, we have here the EW1 uh, tracker and the Let's Play app opened. Uh, so make sure you have your Bluetooth enabled and also your GPS enabled. Uh, when you have your watch, uh, the little uh, green icon on the top left, uh, that shows you that, that the watch and the app are connected to each other. If you don't have that connected, uh, simply uh, make sure that they're connected and swipe down on the app and it'll try to synchronize with the, with the watch. This will update the data in the app as well. So once you have that done, swipe to the left, go to training, and we're going to pick out an outdoor activity. Here it's going to try to use your phone's GPS you're gonna get a message uh, also on your app saying that it's, it's using your GPS. And if you're already outdoors, simply do your exercise and you're good to go. Um, if you stop the exercise before the three minute mark, for example, you're gonna get this message. Uh, exercise is too short to be recorded. And if you press okay, it'll just exit out and you won't, uh, it won't record your, your exercise. So three minutes is the minimum amount of time you need to spend exercising. Um, also, when you when you start your GPS uh, run, for example, uh, turn it on inside your house, turn on the GPS of your phone inside your house, and then simply walk outside into an open area and let let the GPS like triangulate you, like just just wait a little a little bit and then start the activity. That way, once you're in an open area, uh, the satellite's uh, signals can, can 
can reach your 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 phone. Like if you if you start the exercise inside, uh, you know have concrete or walls blocking the signal, so so it might not be accurate. And that and that's why like when you see on your map, it, it'll show you someplace else because maybe two of the signals reached you, maybe the third one didn't, and it thinks you're somewhere else. So keep that in mind when you're doing exercises that use GPS. You can always skip using the GPS function, and, and, it's, a, and it's an option that's on the watch uh, as well uh, when you start the exercise. Uh, if you're around skyscrapers or you live in the city, uh, the skyscrapers will interfere with your exercise, unfortunately, because again, the satellite signal is coming from space, so a big building will block it. So just keep that in mind if you're having issues with the GPS. Um, if you have any other questions or concerns, uh, feel free to reach out to me and I will get back to you. Um, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. That's it for now. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you have gained more knowledge about the Let's Fit Smart Watch. Again, this is Marcus Vidal Young from Wave 8B. Have a great day. Bye bye.